I welcome the, the decision by the independent regulator that the vaccine is safe and effective for, uh, for children from the age of 12 upwards. We'll take clinical advice from the Joint Committee on Vaccinations and Immunisations on how that should be taken forward and then we'll follow uh, that uh, clinical advice. We have enough supply to be able to vaccinate uh, children should that be the clinically advised thing to do. We now have a vaccine that's approved for the use of uh, children aged 12 and over, but I want to make sure this is all done on a clinically, uh, clinically based, following the clinical advice to make sure that we get this country out of this pandemic as safely as we can. The vaccines in use in the UK, both the Pfizer vaccine and the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine and the Moderna vaccine, the three of them, uh, they are all effective against the new variants after two doses. It's critical people come forward for their second dose. And thankfully, now more than half of all adults in the country have had their second dose, but there's still more work to do. Well, that data that's been published is very early. Uh, we do not yet, we have not yet seen data that, uh, that means with, com with any confidence that there's an impact on your likelihood of being uh, in hospital um, as a result of catching COVID. But obviously we're both vigilant about this all the time and also we publish the data uh, that we have as soon as we have it. Um, so uh, what this really reinforces is the need to make sure that we are uh, cautious and careful as we come out of this pandemic. It's too early to make a decision about the step on the uh, that won't that will happen not before the 21st of June. Uh, we're looking at the data every single day, and we'll make a decision and publish it uh, later in this month. Well, we are we are vigilant on international travel, and we're very we're very cautious. And there's a reason for that, and that is that the risk of new variants that undermine the vaccine rollout program is a really serious risk for this country. And so we only put countries on the green list when we're, uh, when we're highly confident that it's safe to travel there. Unfortunately, we did see an increase in the number of, uh, of a new variant uh, in uh, Portugal. And that's why we had to take the decision to remove Portugal from the green list. Now, that's not a decision I, we wanted to take, but we're absolutely determined to keep this country safe from especially from novel variants coming from overseas. Now, the, my first job is to protect lives here at home and to protect the opening up that we've managed to, uh, to see over the last few months uh, here in the UK. And that does mean being really very cautious on international travel.